The WSI6 fuse block allows the user to install an internal cross connection bar to tie multiple blocks together or to put them at the same potential voltage. This is ideal for situations where a power supply is used to feed multiple devices. The WSI6 fuse terminal block is available with and without blown fuse indication. To install the WSI6 internal cross connection current bar, first punch out the side window of the terminal block using the WAW2 tool, part number 900451. Make sure that you do not punch out the panel of the last block since this may derate the allowable voltage. Snap all of the WSI6 fuse terminal blocks onto the DIN mounting rail. Slide the QL cross connection bar through the blocks you wish to cross connect. Open the fuse lever of each block and attach the cross connection bar or jumper bar to each of the WSI6 current bars using an M3x5 fixing screw, part number 105210. The WSI6 internal cross connection jumpering system is now in place and ensures a reliable power system and provides a professional appearance. The internal cross connection bars are available in two pole, part number 19430, three pole, part number 19440, four pole, part number 19450, shown here, and 10 pole, part number 33830. Contact SCS for all of your WSI internal cross connection and other terminal block jumpering requirements. Thank <laughs> you.